Just wrapped up the eighth stop of the year for the Bassmaster Elite Series 2022 and the second time ever that the Bassmaster Elite anglers have competed on Lake Oahe, South Dakota, Lake Oahe on the longest river in America, the Missouri River, 230 miles of it going straight through the, straight through the Dakotas. And of course, we're concerned with the South Dakota part of it this time around. A big, big play and field, Ronnie, and the guys had big expectations a month out, but changing conditions made this one a lot tougher than was expected. For sure, when we look at the map and the lay of the lake where these anglers were throughout the final day, our top 10 competitors, we really thought maybe this midsection from that bend right there at the 212 bridge and south would be a factor and we saw it was early in the event but as day three happened as day four got here we realized a lot more contenders were in about a 15 mile stretch above the bridge and that's where they got all their work done because we're confined to south dakota we were wondering how it was going to change up especially taking off at the opposite end of the lake compared to the last time we were here and it did not disappoint the expectations were high and i think that you know even though it was tough and it wasn't easy at times it definitely was compelling one angler in particular who was very happy to make it to the top 10 on the final day because the previous two events he had just missed the spot by one point he'd had a difficult season did austin felix but he had turned it around and he was ready to go after a win this time around for a guy who has prided himself on being consistent tommy starting the year with a sixth place we said this could be mark zona said it an aoy type season for austin felix uncharacteristically had a couple bad finishes dropped as far as 75th in the AOI race but these last three weeks an 11th and 11th and a win this week that's three great finishes to wrap up your year and now he's back in the classic title hunt yeah wheeled it around a 23-3 day number two after a disappointing day number one and then just kept steady as she goes all the way through an especially challenging final day going up against some of the biggest small mouth masters of the universe that there are in a place that like Lake Oahe that's hard to be consistent this week you have to have a show out performance one of the days and that 23 pound bag that was the difference maker and the separator on day two of this event Austin Felix hey we congratulate you our very first win for Austin Felix a man who was the rookie of the year in 2020 he comes from his neighboring state of Minnesota over here to South Dakota and notches the victory at Lake Oahe